he does. Uh, for uh, one more community call. So we, we did one community call early this year uh, together with our colleague Eloy Rodriguez about the, the, the report uh, on the status of repositories that um, COAR, OpenAir, Spark, Liber were, uh, did. It was a, a very good report that produced some interesting results that uh, for discussion. So be be aware of that. So if you if you were not in that community call, I think it's good to to revisit the recordings and the content that uh, Eloy presented and the highlight, uh, highlights that Eloy did. So last month we we invite you to to join the the graph community call. There is. Uh, very good connections between the, the this great idea to start having uh, the graph, the open air graph community calls also to uh, better detail the developments, the the upgrades, the um, the uses, uh, the different kinds of use cases that we we have in the community uh, exploring uh, the potential of the open air graph. Um, so we try. Every month that we, there is a, a very good connection be, between the, let's say the, the topics of both community calls. We will uh, try to skip the the providers and to invite you to join the the graph community call. Uh, but we, we we want to keep this um, this as monthly as 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 possible. So. Uh, Welcome to another community call. So, so, and, and now in March we we do it. We we just want to highlight some um, some main updates. Uh, there are uh, two or three important things to to you to be aware uh, that you can check in 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 the dashboard, uh, and some some status and the upcoming uh, changes that I think are important. So about features and functionalities in the dashboard, about the uses counts, about the collection monitor and the, and the guidelines. These are the, the, the four uh, main topics uh, today. Uh, so for sure, we don't need to, sp to spend one entire hour, hour but of course, uh, so feel free to put your questions about these topics, about the things that we are going to present myself and Andre, but then also uh, about the issues that you may have. Sometimes there are um, issues that you're encountering in the, in, the, in, the, in the provide or with the aggregation of your repositories specifically or other kinds of things, just feel, feel free to, to ask um, or, or about developments that you think that we should do or suggestions that we have for our service, feel free to, to jump in and suggest that. So uh, we try always to highlight uh, and to advertise what was the last uh, update in terms of index that is available in the in the in the graph and in the explore. So the content is from um, twenty of February. So be aware of that. Um, so expecting to have something by the end of, of March again in the, another update, which is which is good. Um, so the, then the normal things about the help desk, uh, if you have anything, so we, we, we have this uh, new ticket system already running for more than one year. So we, you can also uh, ask questions here directly, but the other, the other update, the, the, the important update from the, from the graph that the people from the graph already presented, um, relying on the version 7.0. It's about the new fields to identify the, the 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 open access research products. So if it is something that came from a, a, a green, a diamond, or a, a gold uh, uh, root, let's say, and um, so this is now uh, identified uh, in the graph, and uh, uh, there is a specific. Uh, categorization of that, and we we also expose it in the in the in the public, let's say, uh, part of the graph that is in our explore. So you can see this. This is what I, I was asking. Uh, this is why I was asking Andre to show me to send me an example. The example that we have, in fact, here in the slides, we have one. Um, Andre, I suppose, is already sharing the slides with you. So um, what you 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 will see. As an example, is that you you have the the access routes here, 
and you can identify. Uh, uh, so um, if if the content is open, uh, the 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 way that uh, we we expose the content and uh, from where we we aggregate it, let's say. Um, and uh, this example, this pivotal role of open science communities, this example of this um, uh, publication. Uh, so you have the the the, the information, the information here. Um, so this is an interesting uh, uh, update and the feature that is now uh, integrated in in the graph. And you in the you can see it. Uh, exploring the information via, uh, via the our explore portal in terms of novelties this is what uh, we want to to highlight in this first part as now we are going to highlight several things or ongoing updates to to present to you so feel free to to log in to to the dashboard uh, to see the the how things are in your your um, data source in open air uh, three things, um, the users counts. So we already did uh, the last quarter of uh, 2023 uh, presentation about the, the counter five, uh, the counter uh, uh, code of practice release five um, to uh, integrate it in, the, in our user statistics service. Uh, we will present now details that uh, so we have already implemented uh the aggregation history that we have um uh, some issues in the in the in the dashboard we want to just to clarify to you and then uh, some um, some new information that we have there to better explain some things and they will will detail that and also the collection of full text this is something really good that open air is improving uh, is to clarify so the numbers that we have uh, that we aggregate and we uh, transform and we expose from your records but also uh, the number of full text that we have uh, in our infrastructure uh, to explore in terms of test mining and to enrich our our graph uh, that we have from your specific data source so total number of records versus total number of records that we have the full text to complement the graph so we don't give access to the full text so the access of the full text is via your data source your repository your your system uh, but we collect them to enrich the 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 content that we we have to for example to find links to between pro publications and projects for example as you as you know uh, let's let's go into the detail of each uh, thing now uh, uh, but um, in terms of the aggregation history maybe andre you can uh, explain a bit what uh, what you did uh, or what we are doing and maybe um, okay yes. you can uh, following the 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 updates that pedro referred in the aggregation history so we we would like to have additional uh, information to to better explain um, each ag aggregation step done by by open air and for you to understand which version is is, is indexed in the open air graph and is published in public portals because sometimes there are some doubts about this uh, because in the dashboard you you can find for example distinct dates where open air when open air is aggregated contents but Sometimes the, the repository managers are not uh, confident about each version is published in, in public portal. So here we have the, all the aggregation history, uh, more or less in a, in a weekly basis. However, only one of these versions that is labeled here with this label indexed version. So this 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 version from Twenty. See, I'm I'm exposing the, the the better the better version, Andre. I'm 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 doing yes. the better okay. version in order to present the mm -hmm. the, the reports. You yes, know, so. but on this case, for example, taking into consideration this data, in practice, this this means that um, the contents that are public public visible, for example, in the explore 
uh, page is from the 28th of November. And on the right, we have also ESM app text information to explain each of these aggregation stages. So we have the collect stage, where when OpenAir is aggregating metadata records, and then the transformation stage, where OpenAir is running the the, the rules to to uh, transform the, each metadata record according to the OpenAir guidelines. Perfect. So, one, one regarding some some bugs, we we have also here integration history. Some things, some details that are not exposed and were exposed in the past. So this is uh, this was already identified, and in the upcoming updates in production, these these bugs will be yeah. fixed, and uh, you will be able to to see, for example, also in the collection mode. If the aggregation is is an in refresh mode or in the incremental mode. Yes. The other important one is the fact that um, for like for several months is uh, in the main, in the home page of the dashboard you don't see this um, this left side uh, bar here. Uh, the the information is uh, the same that we have here in the tab, but the, of course here in the tab is more detailed. But in fact, uh, so we have a bug uh, in the system, and we are not uh, proper exposing this uh, this um, uh, vertical bar here. So, but it's already fixed. It's already fixed in beta. The time I'm I'm showing the beta the the beta of of University of Minho. Uh, but uh, so uh, as soon as possible, this will be in production, and you will see this also. Okay. What are the other things for you, Andre? To... About the compatibility override. The, this is regarding the, the, the OIP image interface that you are giving to OpenAir in order, in order to open air to harvest the metadata records. So this information was already presented uh, in the update interfaces menu, but now for some repositories, this information is not being clearly presented, is missing in some cases. So this was also identified and it's being fixed in beta, in the beta instance, so we can move okay. it also to into production. And, and the, we would like also to add additional information here in order for you to clearly understand which is the interface that that is being used by OpenAir to uh, collect the metadata records and which is the current compatibility level with the open air guidelines that is the compatibility override mm -hmm. the last option yeah. last okay. last field oh. okay you can find it here in the, yes, in the update know. tab and updates interfaces okay and the last and this is a minor bug, but um, regarding the user admins that can access and manage the repository in the dashboard. So as you know, you can add more than one user to manage the, the repository in the dashboard. However, uh, for uh, an alert message that is show, showcased every time we try to enter a user that uh, is not linked to an opener account is not being uh, uh, showcased. So, mm -hmm. for example, if you try to have any an email address that is not linked to a to a user account in OpenAir, nothing will happens, and uh, we are yeah. not seeing the reason why. So, yes, <laughs> yes we would, we we are fixing that, but be but be aware of 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 this important thing. So. Make sure that if you want to invite a colleague, like we did here, to to manage this this instance in beta, um, be aware that uh, you need to invite uh, 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 an account that is already part of of OpenAir. Okay, that is already registered in in OpenAir. So be be aware of that. Unfortunately. So we don't give the proper feedback to explain that is not uh, yet registered, but uh, try to do that. So we will try to fix this uh, 
mm -hmm. simple and st but stupid bug that we that we have. <laughs> okay. Additionally, if some of you doesn't have access to the to the dashboard, you you can uh, you can contact us via our ticket system, so we can check if your username is already linked to the dashboard, or in some cases, uh, happens that. Um, it's not active. So uh, for it, uh, for some repository dashboards, we don't have any active user linked to the dashboard. In these cases, we need to run another procedure in order to activate the access. So if you have some some troubles accessing, please contact us, and then we can we can That's fix cool. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great, Andre. So now explaining what we are doing uh, to finish this. Um this important and relevant uh, update in in provide uh, related with the user statistics component uh, so it's the availability of the new reports based on counter 5 counter release 5 uh, and we will have the possibility to 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 get the data related with the four types of reports mainly for now three types of reports uh, we have it already available in beta uh, and it will be deployed in production soon. Uh, we believe that we can do it in, in March, but we are promising in April. <laughs> uh, so we let you know um, uh, when you, 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 you can do that. So um, the, 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 and some of you already joined uh, the community call that we did about that in the past. So be, be aware of what, what we are going to do is the, the following. Now I present and then I explain a bit better. Um, so we will, uh, for now, keep uh, both types of uh, reports. So you have this data. And then to get the statistics report, uh, we already integrated the uh, release five reports. We will keep the release four reports that they were a bit different, but we know that there are people using it and uh, using for internal or or even to to present the the uses of the repositories to the to the to the boards to the to some university reports or whatever. Uh, so we will keep we will keep this, uh, but uh, you already have the possibility to start using and exploring and and being more aware of this if you are not so aware. Uh, counter five is already here uh, for 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 some time, but uh, implemented properly implemented in in open air not not yet. In fact, we are already gathering numbers uh, for this for a long time. Uh, you remember that uh, our colleague Dimitris Pierracos from 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 Athena for that time, uh, she he presented uh, several times uh, this this the, the reasons and the, the work that we were doing. But now, uh, for the end users only now it will be possible. But you can see now that in beta for the repository of Uminio, we can already explore. And uh, so the way that it works, it's it's similar. So we we select a, a period of time and then we just get the report the the difference and now uh, andre correct me if i will say something wrong is that uh, uh, so if um if the 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 if we can display the data uh, directly in the in the browser uh, basically that is not uh, uh, in um uh, in terms of size is not big. Uh, we, we expose it. If not, uh, it generates uh, a file for us to, to download. OK, so yes, it, it depends, yes. of course, Maybe if we that. if we check a month, uh, for example, uh, we can present it clearly for you, a table, a beautiful table, and you see it, or you export it, or you copy paste. But if it is a big, a big, uh, uh, like a, a long period uh, of time with uh, lots of, of, of data. Uh, so uh, we will automate it, 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 the, the, um, the get report here will generate the, the report, but then expose to you a file for you to download and not a, a, a table with the layout of the, of, of the uh, here embedded in the, um, in the dashboard. Okay. This is just this, um, Exp this explanation for you for you and we have these uh, types of reports that you can that you can see 
summarizing the user's activity for repository by months, metric type by months broken down by metric type. Uh, and uh, but let's let's use the slides to better explain this. And in fact, we are thinking about uh, inviting also someone else uh, from um, uh, from uh, countering more experiences, maybe to come to to one of our community calls to to discuss a bit with with us uh, the um, these updates. So what what you will see is the uh, these three possibilities okay uh, pl platform master report platform users report past pl platform master item report okay uh, of course uh, if i think this is more or less clear but start exploring starting getting the numbers in order for you to understand because there are um differences from the common understanding that we had uh, before with the downloads and views okay this is not clearly downloads and views like in the past so be be aware of of, of that so uh, what you see here is a report summarizing uh, this activity master report users report and item report let's say uh, and then we have this this concept of uh, investigation and request that are important. Uh, this is where we entering into the, this the, the difference uh, for the views and the downloads. An investigation is tracked when a user performs any action in the content item. Okay. Um, a request is specifically related to viewing or downloading the, the 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 full content. Okay, this is in important for you to 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 understand this 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 um, uh, two concepts because they are mentioning in the in the information about the um, the, the reports that you are getting. Uh, so this is why we have this slide and prepare this slide in order to make it. Uh, quite clear in terms of unique item is investigation, total item is investigation, so you can get this information from the reports. Um, uh, so the investigations are more uh, linking to views, so that count uh, the total number of times that information uh, to an article was viewed. The requests, uh, so total item requests, unique item requests, total item requests counts all article full con content views across all formats uh, that you that is uh, are available in the via the record of that specific uh, um, item, uh, that specific publication. Okay. Um, this is one slide that we are reusing from 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 Dimitris, our colleague Dimitris Pierakos, that highlighted in that community call that we did some some important features here and uh, so the relevance for us to as repository managers, data source managers, to 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 use this when it comes to total item requests. So uh, it's important for providers that have full full text content available via the, the, the repositories, which is the, the normal case, but it's not the case for all. <laughs> this is why this diversity of, of, of collecting uh, user statistics is important. Uh, and and here, the when it, it comes to item requests, we can see the number of full text downloads and views. When it comes to total uh, investigations, so it provides a big picture, okay, uh, of uh, of the let's say the actions that uh, are being done <clears throat> for a specific uh, item. Uh, so the highlights here is that really a, a powerful metrics for identifying activities with unique items and titles. Uh, it's interesting to to have this more accurate analysis. So what you are going to have soon. <laughs> is that in the uses counts, if you have enabled the uses counts, if you don't have the enabled the uses counts, just uh, you will see in the... <clears throat> Let me have an example here, maybe this one. Yes, you will see something like this for you. In fact, not exactly like this, but okay. But uh, close uh, for you to enable. Uh, and then you you receive the the matomo the authentication token for you to to use okay 
So you will have first a page, not this page. This page is already someone that have enabled, but we are not collecting the data. Uh, another page for you to, to enable. Let's see if this one, yes, this one is a good way, example. So I have the three cases here. So uh, here, this this uh, this data source that uh, this is our uh, just data sources that I have in beta here to, to, to for for demo. Uh, so you you we can in you need to enable metrics. Then you receive the the the, the tracker code and the and the token, and then you can proceed with the instructions that we have available. For those that have already enabled this, you will find the. The information that the normal information that we are exposing uh, in the in the um, in the user count service that are visible here for you, and then you can get the reports five and four release five and four from the counter. Okay. The other topic about the collection monitor, Andre. Uh, maybe you already highlighted some someone, but please do. The floor okay. is yours to explain. Yes. Here we will like only to to remind the way uh, you can follow the aggregation history made by OpenAir. So as we have uh, showcased previously. So here on the right side of the slide, we would like to highlight two areas. In the top, uh, by in, in in the top of the page of the aggregation history, you can you can find the date when the, the contents were published in the public portals, as for example, in OpenAir Explorer or uh, in the monitor dashboards. And below, you need to find the indexed version label in order to, to check the, let's say, the, the snapshot from OpenAir from your uh, repository that, that is being published in the public portal. So looking to these dates, you are uh, uh, aware of the version that is uh, visible in the open air portals. Yes. And that's it. In, in the second slide about this, just to remind you about the help text information that you, you can find in the aggregation history menu. These help text information uh, are on the right side of the page and also in the top of the page. We have here some, uh, some uh, screenshots. So in order to find the indexed version label to check yes information in the top of the page and on the right side some detailed information to explain what it, what it is the collect aggregation stage the transform aggregation stage and inside the aggregation stage what is the yeah. refresh and incremental modes some of you this is not a novelty but as we receive lots of requests and lots of tabs about this we are dedicating some more time to make mm -hmm. it more clear where people can find this this information sorry for those that are uh, quite knowledgeable in this uh, in this topic to finish um just uh, uh, two highlights about the guidelines uh, one one is a rem sorry one is a reminder for us and then feel free to ask questions please and we will check the the, the chat uh, after so we are we are just closing this 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 presentation so be aware of this important uh, um uh, uh, component of of of, of open air that is uh, open air is uh, the gateway for the, the the European Open Science Cloud. So there is, uh, so being being part of open air. <laughs> sorry, you are uh, in a in a in a in the position to be part of also of the the IOSC, uh, uh research product catalog, okay, and to be part of, of, of the European Open Science Cloud uh, uh, products and services uh, uh, catalog, okay, be aware of that. There are some changes, so may, maybe some of you already heard some changes in the, that are running, so things that are being produced and finalized during this um, important project, the OSC Future Project, um, but one thing that will keep uh, uh, as it is is the this uh, important uh, link between uh, those data sources that are part of open air will have the uh, life facilitated to be part of the uh, the yosk okay be aware of this but um, 
only those that are uh, compatible with the, the, the crease guidelines, uh, okay, that we have, but we are highlighting this for publications, uh, literature, version three and, uh, and four, okay? So several of you already know this, but um, if uh, you are in a position that you are not using these versions, in some cases, you are, but you don't know, and so um, you need to 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 change uh, that uh, into integrated in open air. Uh, in some cases, you need to do some some work in your site to to comply. So this is important. Um, so then you can check the presentation. There are some more details. In fact, uh, these two slides that I'm presenting this this one and the, and the next one the slides that we already presented and my colleague uh, Leonidas from open air uh, already did uh, some highlights about this in one of the past uh, community calls highlighting what are the main benefits of of, of complying with these two uh, guidelines so of course we won't have everyone to be open air for uh, but for now uh, having this uh, open access uh, funded national and other kinds of uh, content uh, visible and exposed in open air it's the way that we have the this content as a research product available through uh, open air catalog uh, be aware of that the last one is something um, uh, important that we we are uh, working uh, and uh, this will have implications in our guidelines is the the to to check some changes that we need to do uh, to align with the, the work uh, that DataSeed did about their metadata schema. So they, they have this uh, new um, version of the DataSeed metadata schema 4.5, uh, and it's important. And as uh, there is this um, uh, deprecation of the schema 3 that it's incorporated in the open air guidelines. So there are some work to do, not uh, critical, but the, there are some important things that we need to do. We need to investigate a bit more and to work more, but we are doing that. This is in our uh, radar. Uh, so um, be aware of that. There is also the link here to, to, to this schema. So um, uh, you can also be aware of uh, some of the changes that were done. So. And this is all. So let me check the, um, I know that Andre is sharing some of the links. Uh, thank you all for those, those that join. Feel free to ask questions. So I know that uh, we go into the, some details of in terms of demo of the systems that uh, some of you, this is not so interesting because you are experienced users. Um, for others, it was for sure important. Uh, Stefano, thank you for the question about the enrichments exportable. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, let me let me explain based on the. So Stefano is asking about the component of the enrichments, which is really important. Uh, unfortunately, they are not exportable as you are requesting uh, as a CSV. Uh, so this is just a manual. We are working on that. We already promised that. And in the beginning of last year, we mentioned that we want to do something, uh, but not yet, unfortunately. Um, so there are uh, the technical team is is limited and uh, so th in the agenda of priorities there are uh, several things and uh, all the work uh, to link the, the open air and the uh, and the uh, interoperability framework of EOSC and the uh, and the integration of of the data sources from open air in EOSC so these these were the um, all the priorities and several priorities from the graph also. There are colleagues here in the in the in the community call that are working in a, another important project where Open Air is participating participating size lake about the, the knowledge graph graphs and the and this is important. So no, unfortunately Stefano, the answer is no. What we have and the way that it works, we see a sample here. This is just a sample for you to have an idea. Okay. For me, you know, there are important enrichments that are uh, 
uh, enrichments about uh, links to projects, okay? We uh, click in links to projects. We uh, do a filtering, a specific filtering, and then uh, we subscribe the events based on a, a specific filtering. Imagine that we want just links to projects from the last uh, three, day, three years, or imagine that uh, you have... Um, uh, you are from Portugal, for the case, I'm taking the example of Portugal, and uh, our funder have a policy since 2014, so I just want the publications after 2014. So I put, I, I create this um, filter, and then I subscribe to these events, and I, I will receive it, I will have it in the notifications every time that we have... Um, um, an, an, an update of the of the graph okay those updates that we are referring the date to the specific date so it will you will have it here with a specific number of, of records and you can see the records and explore it but uh, Stefano um, still ask so uh, it's in our radar we would like to have it and it's not so difficult to, to do it what is important to know two things uh, so to 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 avoid having a a negative, a full negative reply to you. The first is that there is already an implementation, an interesting implementation in the, in this space, uh, Chris from um, from for science. Those that are uh, b benefiting from uh, this specific uh, company uh, uh, product, um, they have already a, a very good way to um, use in a to automatic way the the results of of this in fact there is a, a colleague here in the call that i'm looking to the to the name that is is related with this there are in the radar uh, developments uh, for um, for this space uh, uh, 7 uh, unfortunately for a matter of um, of approval of 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 the of the committers of of, of time, sufficient time to approve by the committers of, of this space. It was not done yet, but the, the, the work is done and this possibility to have automatic implementation in this space, but this is just for this space. Then uh, the other the other thing is, and, and I invite you to join the community call. Andre, do we have the in the slides the, the reference to the community call? Yes, we have, okay. Uh, yes, yes. yes. Uh, and I'm I'm looking to the to that to that specific community call in which we have presented this integration. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, and and uh, Stefano, I also invite you to join this community call because I know because our colleague Claudio Azzori already told us that they will explore. It will be a kind of end-zone session that where they will explore uh, use cases on the the way that. Uh, the community can reuse the content, and one of the ways is to, in fact, explore a bit this, this, uh, these links uh, and these uh, enrichments that we have uh, available via the via the graph. So maybe you can also join this community call and ask uh, our, our colleagues. So this is just a way. But of course, what we should have is to have uh, close to the one hundred and ninety enrichments uh, related with projects or uh, or our kids uh, uh, so close to these numbers or or um, so, so yes close to the notifications have a specific um, a specific uh, place to download the csv file this is our tsv or csv file this is what should we should uh, we should have yes Feel free to ask more questions. I'm, I'm just opening also the, the production side because I, I have the the better open it in. The... Is there any other question? Oops. Yes, we have from Jan. We'll be able to obtain user data per individual item in open air. If so, will, will we be able to display uh, the information on the items in our repository? In practice, he's asking if uh, it, if it is possible to collect information in uh, based only on individual records. Yes, it, it's possible. 
Um, yes, 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 yes. So, 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 sorry, I, I was reading the, the question. Yes. You will be able to collect from the the entire entire repository or from a specific uh, record. Yes, from a specific item. Mm -hmm. Via the reports, via the reports. Via the reports that we have available in the, in the dashboard. I suppose this question is related with user statistics, Andre, not to be the original. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. About the, yes, about the user statistics. Okay, Leonidas is also sharing here important links. Yes, the broker API, yeah. Yeah, thank you, Dimitris, this is important. Yes, and then... Uh, okay. Leonidas. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, and Leonid has also shared the, the APIs. Yes, yes, yes. We have different cases, uh, Stefano, for your question. This question is, is important because there are people just, they want really what they want is APIs. Uh, and there are people just, they want to, to export a, a CSV file. <laughs> Depends of the the... the those that are managing the, the service in, in each uh, institution, its organization, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Leonidas, if you want to say something, feel free. But uh, uh, I think we are done. So don't, don't forget about, um, yes, you can ask more questions. I'm just highlighting these two events to the, um, the open air graph community call that I already mentioned to reply to Stefano. So be aware of this. I think the the content will be quite interesting. Okay. So uh, even even uh, then, if you are not uh, in, a, in a position in an IT department or something like that, that to, 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 uh, that you can do something to explore. So at least you are aware of what uh, you can do with the data that OpenAir is, 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 is exposing via the graph. So uh, I think it, it, it will be a benefit for you to join this community call. And the first Wednesday of April, we will have our, our community call. Hopefully some of you will already can explore the user counts, the new reports. <laughs> so do not forget that we have this page where all the recordings are there. So I mentioned at least uh, three or four different community calls. So feel free to go there and to check. And I also put some links. Um, so the recordings and the, and the calendar of the community calls are, are there. So we usually you put the, the calendar for each semester. We want to do it every, every, every month, but uh, so we, we play a bit in defense and we put just semester because sometimes with with vacations, with um, holidays in different countries, we we need sometimes to check and to do some changes. But but at least we have this uh, um, three schedule. And uh, do not forget to subscribe or to resend or to to forward the, uh, the newsletter that we are doing and to ask colleagues to, 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 this is just three, four, five novelties that we want to highlight every every newsletter. Okay, any more questions? So we have time. Uh, thank you all for those that joined. So do you have any question, anything that you would like to, um, to share with us, even if you have uh, topics that you would like to know more. Uh, so feel free also to suggest uh, in the chat or to open your microphone. Um... Uh, hello, Pe Pedro. Hi, I was checking for arrangements for uh, two projects that uh, I missed some, some meetings, the last months but now i was trying to find enrichments to projects and i could not they disappear or 
you from remember your life. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, no, they cannot disappear. Nothing disappear. <laughs> Let me check. So, so, so the enrichments. Uh, um, they, they, they still be be here. Uh, are here. So. The, the the this type of, of enrichments. Yes, but why I'm not able to see those that in in my enrich your content okay enrichments and then so yes that's what if you, I'm if doing you, if you have it if you have it in the I was trying to, to uh, access let me access the the, the provide we don't better. Emilia is not uh, displaying uh, uh, enrichments uh, for projects. About projects, it's, it's not displaying. Only subjects and abstracts. Yes. So this means that uh, there are no missing links ah, okay. between publications. Yeah, yes, no, no. yes. This is a good... It, uh, it's perfect. Uh, so, okay. Yeah. This is a good, uh, I am not able to connect, I am not able to link. Yeah, yeah, so this is important. Uh, um, so, so the sample of um, events that uh, uh, appear in your, um, in your repository, they are related with uh, what we found. So if we don't find anything, so this means that we don't have. I remember that you were one of the cases that you are doing, uh, you follow the, the, the projects and you try to update your records, true? Yes, but we okay. have all time more um, things to improve. And yes, at, yes, yes. at this moment, uh, I don't see nothing I think, I think, Yes, missing. I think this is the, the fact that you are not missing nothing, but, but let's stay in touch in order to see if there is anything else, okay? Okay. Uh, maybe we need to check... Um, Yes, maybe we can. We need to check our... the um, the numbers that we are collecting from your repository from the last index. If everything is okay, if we okay, if is everything is okay in terms of numbers, I suppose that the 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 reason is that one. But if if not, uh, so we need to investigate. Let's stay in touch. And this is a good question for Emilia case for the this this repository. Uh, it can be the same question for others here. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you all for joining. Uh, you are invited to the upcoming call in, a in April, but you are in also invited to the, um, the community call in um, in uh, in of, of the graph on the twenty of March. Feel free to give us suggestions via email about topics that you would like to 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 check. Two topics that we have just for your information and then we close the, the community call. Two topics that we would like to, to discuss with the external invited. Counter 5, okay, release 5. I think it's interesting if we invite someone to discuss a bit better to some things because I know that there are people with opts. The other thing that we would like to discuss also is the, the work that the, the COAR uh, the, the, the Confederation of Open Access Repositories is doing to improve and to update the control vocabularies. Okay, in principle, the in in, in the um, resource type control vocabularies, they are, they are doing some work, uh, some updates. I think it's important. So, in one of the upcoming calls, we would like to invite them to to this to the to to discuss a bit with us. So, if you have. Uh, topics specifically from our services or things that are related to our service like this the, the, the coar vocabularies for example feel free to suggest and uh, and or if you as a, as as part of open air would like to to show uh, and to present something feel free so you are uh, we are open to that okay just send us an, an email or in one of the community calls you can suggest okay many thanks so from my side, from Andre and myself, so many thanks for your availability and participation. Have a, a, a good day and a good week. Bye-bye.